Hello everyone, welcome to Two Pink Lines. Today's topic is a very interesting one. It's about IVF and complete bed rest. The most important question what all of my patients ask me without fail after embryo transfer is that complete bed rest, is it really required after embryo transfer? What we actually do is we ask the patient to stay in the same couch for a period of, for a time period of uh, 30 minutes after embryo transfer, following which we encourage the patient to walk out of the, walk out of the room. So IVF should also be considered, IVF procedure or IVF pregnancy should also be considered similar to the natural pregnancy. 24 hours after embryo transfer, the embryo actually settles inside the endometrium and there is no way that it uh, gets passed out while you pass urine or it just comes out. So there is no way that it comes out and uh, it should be considered uh, similar to a natural pregnancy only. We've had patients where they fly back soon after their embryo transfer and we've had uh, patients who travel back by uh, car, who travel back by train, still uh, they have achieved a successful pregnancy. We've had live births also with it. So there's no connection between uh, complete bed rest and uh, a successful uh, uh, IVF treatment. So it does not affect your success rate in any way. The only thing what you have to take care is you can do your daily activities like cooking, walking, and you can do a little bit of yoga, a little bit of 